Hello everybody and welcome to another trading video. I'm your market analyst Adam Carberg and today we are going to be having a look at some of the commodities and specifically we're going to be looking at oil and that is Brent crude. Now we did discuss and have an update on Brent the other week um, not too long ago about the kind of technical pattern that was forming and we did have this kind of wedge as we can see here. And similarly if we have a look at um, WTI or West Texas um, we can also see that it had this wedge, but in recent times, quite crucially, it has broken down out of this wedge pattern, um, and that's for both um, oil for West uh, West Texas and Brent. Um, and as we can see, um, we're reaching this quite quite important um, support level around uh, ninety three to ninety four dollars. And we'll just put this. We'll just make a note of this here. This little zone here. And why that's important is because not only is it acting as a price support or, or that uh, that breakout point here, but we've also just touching that 200 period moving average, which of course, is, as we know as traders, is a really important support level as well. So what we can expect is quite a little bit of volume and a potential um, little bit of uh, a resistance from buyers before we break through. And as we can see, we've got a quite a bit of um, got a bit of an indecisive green candle here. We've had quite a bit of buying volume come in, um, and that may bring us back um, into a bit of a range. So whilst we have this wedge, we may also be able to look at this chart and kind of draw a bit, draw draw a range as such. And with this range, you know, it wouldn't surprise to see this kind of either bounce back up, depending on other macro factors. Whoops, let's do that again. It might rather, you know, it might bounce back up and keep going, or it might um, break back down. And that would offer some potential short opportunities, perhaps to $85 um, or back up to, you know, that long position to $131. But it's definitely a wait and see. And similar kind of price action on um, West Texas or WTI. Now, the reason that oil is falling is really because of the fears of recession that's occurring in the economy and across the global market. What we have is this sentiment of fear and this slowing growth. And when there's not as much growth in this potential for recession, oil and other commodities tend to suffer because, of course, to grow the economy, you do need oil, um, you know, for vehicles, for any kind of manufacturing. Um, and you know, so that's really where this is stemming from. And also the one of the the other reason is the US dollar is just so strong at the moment. Of course, commodities in the US dollar being paid in the US dollars um, make it a lot make them quite um, a little bit cheaper. The other thing we can see is that this kind of sell off in commodities isn't just exclusive to oil, but it's also um, occurring in natural gas, which is also well off its peaks, almost thirty three percent of its peaks, and also gold, which is you know hanging at the bottom of the range. So. There we can see we've definitely got some opportunities to trade oil here, um, but just a bit of a wait and see before we you know, enter those trades.